Hello, my name is Rachel from Limble's product team. Limble is a modern maintenance platform that helps businesses efficiently manage their maintenance operations. If you're watching this video, your company is using Limble and wants you to learn how to submit maintenance requests using our work request system. Depending on how your company has set up your unique work request system, some of these features may not apply. If you have any questions, reach out to the person who shared this video with you. Let's get started. First, let's discuss how to access the work request form, also known as the work request portal, to submit a ticket. The three methods of accessing the form are by QR code, URL, or email. If your company uses the QR code, you'll scan it using your phone's camera, which will take you to the portal. If your company uses the link or URL, you can click on it from your desktop or phone, which will take you to the portal. Finally, if your company uses the email method, they'll provide an email address where you can send a message to the maintenance team. If this is the case, you will not be using the work request portal. You should talk to your administrator about what details you need to include in your email. To find out where your company keeps this information, such as a break room bulletin board or company intranet, talk to your administrator. Once you get to the portal, it's time to fill out your work request. Required fields are indicated with an asterisk. You don't have to fill out optional fields, but the more information you give your maintenance team, the easier it will be for them to address your request quickly. First, give your request a title. Next, give your request a description. Try to be as descriptive as possible to help the maintenance team understand the issue. Including the time and date of the incident and other pertinent details can help the team address your issue faster. Make sure to include your contact information, including your name and email address, to receive updates about your ticket. If you don't include an email in your request, you will not be able to view or receive status updates about your ticket through Limble. You may be asked to include your phone number as well. The maintenance team may use this to contact you with any questions about your ticket. Where or what is having a problem allows you to identify what is having the issue. Click on the text box and in the new window, select the correct item. If you are required to provide an answer but don't know what to choose, click on I'm not sure. Then click select to confirm your choice. You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Adding a photo can help the maintenance team evaluate the issue. Click add picture slash document to take or upload a photo or other supporting documentation. Depending on how your company set up your unique form, you may also be asked to include other information in a text or drop-down field. Some of these responses can do things on the back end to ensure the correct team member is assigned to the issue and it's prioritized appropriately. Now that the form has been filled out, click Submit to send it to the team. You'll see a confirmation message that your ticket has been created. Once you've submitted your request, there are a few ways to stay updated on the progress of your ticket. The first is by email. Notifications about your ticket are sent via email. Make sure to check your spam folder for emails from Limble and move them to your inbox to receive future messages. Depending on your system settings, you may receive an email when your request has been submitted. You may also receive other updates from the team through comments, which will be sent via email. You can reply to these comments by responding directly to the email. The other way to stay updated is by viewing the ticket itself. To access the ticket, click the link to the work request in your email. You can also click the button at the bottom of the work request portal that says check work requests. On the new page, enter the email address you used for the request. Then click submit. You'll receive an email with a link that says check work requests. When you click on the link, you'll be directed to a page with your tickets, including tickets in progress and ones that have already been resolved. Depending on how your company's settings are configured, you may see tickets from other colleagues too. Click on any request name. The new window includes the work request name, details, and any comments made on the ticket. You can communicate with the maintenance team from here by clicking add comment and submitting your message in the new window. Once the ticket is completed, you will always receive an email when your request has been resolved. 
Your maintenance team may include a survey link in this email to get feedback about their work. If it's there, make sure to fill it out and give them kudos. Thanks so much for watching. Now you know how to use the work request portal. If you have any questions, talk to the person who sent you this video or your Limble admin.